Hello everyone, welcome to Explore Electronics. In this video, let us see the next concepts of module 4 that is Digital Modulation Schemes, AASK, FSK and PSK. In the previous video, we have seen PAM, PWM and PPM. These are pulse modulation methods. We call these methods as analog pulse modulation methods. Why? Because the modulating signal what we are going to choose for the modulation is of analog kind. Analog signal in the sense it will be having a continuous wave like this. If it is an audio or some variation in the input like this, this will be called as an analog signal. And if you are going to take this signal for the modulation, if it is an modulating signal, we call it as an analog modulation. Here in this video, we are going to discuss digital communication means the modulation we are going to adopt here is digital modulation. In the digital modulation scheme, we are going to use the input or the message signal or we say the baseband signal as digital signal. Digital signal in the sense a binary data we are going to consider. Binary data means a combination of ones and zeros will be the transmission data. This will be the message signal or this will be called as baseband signal we can consider. So this need to be modulated and then we need to give for the transmission. So here the parameters what we can alter now here also the amplitude or frequency or phase of the carrier signal is varied in accordance with the incoming data what we have. So in the analog modulation, frequency modulation and the phase modulation what we seen in analog communication there also we are going to vary the carrier signal amplitude and the carrier signal frequency and also the carrier signal phase as the input signal message signal is. Similarly here also we are going to vary the amplitude, frequency and phase and remember here we are using a sinusoidal signal as a carrier wave. So let us understand the modulation here by taking the binary data like this it will be the message signal and the carrier signal will be an AC signal. Once we given to the product modulator this will give the output if it is a ASK or FSK or PSK depending on the modulation scheme the output will be generated. Now here let us understand the digital modulation schemes that is ASK we call it as amplitude shift keying, FSK we call it as frequency shift keying and phase shift keying that is PSK. Let us go through these one by one. What is ASK? ASK is a amplitude shift keying. You can see here binary data will be given as a message and carrier signal we are using as a high frequency carrier we are given to the product modulator. This product modulator will be doing the modulation. This modulation scheme is in such a way that whenever we will be having data 1, the carrier signal amplitude will be taken as the amplitude what we have at the output. When we are having 0 at the input, we are taking the amplitude as 0. That's why this amplitude shift keying can be called as amplitude modulation itself but it is used in the digital communication. So amplitude will be keep as it is as a carrier wave when we have input data as 1. When we have input data as 0, we are making the amplitude 0. You can see here continuous values of digital signal given like this. Once we given with the carrier signal, the output will be the ASK output will be like this. When we have 0, 0, the amplitude will be 0. When we have 1, 1, the carrier amplitude will be maintained as it is. So this is what the amplitude shift keying is. It represents the digital data as variations in the amplitude of a carrier wave. Here we are not changing any message signal. We are changing the amplitude of the carrier signal and we are going to get the modulated signal like this. Let us understand the next one that is frequency shift keying. Here it is compared with the frequency modulation what we have discussed in the analog communication. Frequency shift keying is the digital modulation method. Here what we are going to do again the message signal is same as the binary data. When we give this binary data we need to consider the carrier wave. Here we are considering the two carrier waves in such a way that it is uh, something like it will be a low frequency carrier wave I can consider one low frequency carrier wave one. It is high frequency carrier wave 1, okay, it is high frequency carrier 2. 
So there are two oscillators here generating a low frequency carrier and another oscillator it is generating a high frequency carrier. And when the binary data is 1, binary data is 1 means we need to have the modulated signal with a high frequency signal. So this modulator is going to choose the high frequency signal as a output when we are giving 1 as input. At the input we will be having 0 means this modulator is going to choose the frequency generated by the oscillator 1 that is low frequency. 0 in the message signal will be taken as low frequency signal and 1 will be considered as a high frequency signal at the output. After modulation this signal 0 1 0 double 1 double 0 is look like this. At 0 you can observe the frequency of the signal is less. At 1 you can observe the frequency of the signal is more. So this is what the oscillator 2 output and this is what oscillator 1 output. The, in the same way as we get 1 and 1 continuously, continuously high frequency signal will be given as output. This kind of modulation technique will be called as frequency shift keying. Here we are varying the frequency of the carrier wave according with the digital signal what we have as a message signal. A simplest form of FSK is BFSK that is binary frequency shift keying and it uses a pair of discrete frequencies as we seen here a pair of frequencies we are going to use to transmit the binary zeros as well as ones. Next we have phase shift keying that is called as PSK. Here it is compared with the phase modulation with respect to the analog modulation is considered. Here also the binary data is taken 10110 and the carrier wave is an high frequency signal. When we are given to the product modulator here, this modulation technique uses the phase of the signal. You can see here when we are having 1 at the input, the phase of the signal will be like this and when there is a transition from 1 to 0, next from here onwards 0 is transmitting. So the, the modulator is going to do, it is changing the phase of the signal. From here it is starting with lower values. We can say it is taking a 180 degree phase shift. That's why when there is a value transition from 1 to 0, we can observe here there is change in the phase with respect to 180 degree. Similarly, from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 transition, again phase will be changed. This is how the phase shift keying is going to work. Here also the simple phase shift keying method is BPSK that is binary phase shift keying. These are the three methods we are going to use in digital transmission. Digital transmission also uses modulation technique. The three modulation techniques are ASK, FSK and PSK. In the next video, let us see the radio signal transmission and different multiple access techniques. Thank you.